In the previous video, we learned how to handle a GET request. In this video, let's learn how to handle a POST request. We're going to leave the GET request tab from the previous video untouched and create a new request instead. We select the HTTP verb as POST and the URL is HTTP localhost 3000 slash comments, the same as the GET request. Next, we need to specify a new comment object that needs to be added to the comments array. For that, in the body tab, under JSON, we specify an object. Text. The value is new comment. We don't specify the ID as it will be generated in the handler function. If I now click on send, we get back an error 405 method not allowed. Let's go back to our API route and add a function to handle this POST request. In the same route.ts file in the comments folder, I'm going to define and export a new function. Let's insert the route handler snippet from pieces extension and rename to POST. It's important we match the function name with the HTTP method we want to handle. Now, every route handler function receives the standard web request object as a parameter. From this request object, we are going to extract the JSON body specified as part of the request. For that, we call request.json and await it. This returns the object specified in Thunder client which we are going to store in a constant called comment. Next, we can create a new comment object. The ID is set to the comments array length plus one, and the text is the text from the request body comment object. So comment dot text. We then push this new comment into the comments array. Finally, we return a response object. If we were to respond with response.json, the status would remain 200. For a post request, a 201 status of resource creation is more appropriate. So our response statement is slightly different. Return new response, and as the first argument, we specify the new comment as JSON. So json.stringify, new comment. And for the second argument, we set the headers with content type to application slash JSON and status code 201. This indicates a new resource has been created. If we now restart the dev server with npm run dev, hit the get request first, we get back the three comments, hit the send button for the post request, we see 201 created status, new comment, which is our text, and ID is comments length plus one, which is now four. If I switch tabs and make a get request again, we now see all four comments being returned. This is pretty much how we handle POST requests. Define a POST handler in the route.ts file, make use of the request parameter to access the request body and send an appropriate response. If you've understood so far, join me in the next video where we will learn about dynamic route handlers. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.